Michelle Marciniak, who played for Pat Summit in the early 1990s. Michelle, how are you? Uh, I had better days, but uh, I'm doing okay. How did the news strike you? Um, it, it rocked me. It, it really rocked me pretty hard. I was in a meeting uh, for work in New York City, and, and um, I got a text message. And, um, you know, it's, even as close as I am to Pat and, and knowing exactly what's going on and have for a couple of years and, um, uh, you know, even knowing her current situation that she had a major decision to make, it, it still doesn't, you know, when, you, when I read it, it still doesn't make it any easier. Um, you know, it just kind of took a big... A big sigh, and um, my, my heart is sad. Uh, of course, I'm so happy that she can now dedicate more time mm-hmm. to focus on her personal health, and that that for all of us is the absolute most important thing. Um, but it's it's you know, and then you think about she's not going to be on the sidelines anymore, and she's been doing this for 38 years, um, and it 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 it's just is a sad day. It's a sad day for 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 sports. Not just women's basketball, but 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 sports. We've talked to a number of folks, and and they've typically said that that Pat Summit actually uh, had a greater impact on them when they were finished playing at Tennessee because they kind of understood some of the messages that she was sending. Uh, did you feel that way? Did she did she have a great impact on you? Perhaps as much after you left the Lady Vols as as during your tenure here. She <laughs> let me tell you, she had a great impact on me while I was there as well. Um, you know, and I, I I know what you mean though, and I know what people are referring to. I I think you I think you're in it. You're in the fire um, when you play for her, and it's so intense for four years. And all you're doing is is you know thinking, living, you know, and breathing basketball with her at the highest, most intense level. And then you get out of that, you know, and you graduate, and you look back, and you just like take a big deep breath and go, wow, what you know, what did I just do? And what just happened? Because typically you went to a Final Four or you won a national championship or, you know, something really great happened with your career if you're a Tennessee player. And you look back and you learn to appreciate the work ethic that she instills in you every day. She, there's a, there's a certain, it's not good enough. Do it again, do it again until it's near perfect that Pat has. She has a drive uh, within her that I have, I've never experienced from anyone in my entire life. So, to answer your question, yes, she she's um, she kind of I, I've become closer to her in, in the in the last five years, uh, especially from the, when, when, um, after I left coaching, uh, which is a little different um, because I was doing something that was not within the the you know the realm of what um, her other players were doing, and and so I got to have different conversations with her. Uh, I was not in competition with her when it came to, um, you know, when it comes to, you know, coaching in the SEC against her, you know, once I stopped coaching. Um, so my relationship blossomed even more after I got out of coaching. Um, she's just, uh, and she she helped me through my business, you know, the last couple of years. She's been so supportive, you know, um, has reached out her hand to me to make contact to whoever she can possibly call and, um, she's an amazing woman, and it's a sad day for a legend like her to, um, you know, not not be on the sidelines anymore. Michelle, this is Vince Ferrar. Good to talk to you. Appreciate you doing it. Um, Hi, I want to go back to your your first comments and, and what you just referenced there, and and how it's a sad day that she won't be on the sidelines for Tennessee. What are some of the specific things that in in when that news? A hit that started racing through your head about Pat Summit not leading the Lady Vols basketball program. What are some of the things that that, that started uh, branching off from that? It's a great question, Vince. Um, you know, it's it's. I, I think first and foremost, it's just that she won't she won't be on the sidelines anymore. You know, and and so you're used to seeing this powerful woman, you know, kind of grazing the sidelines and and um, making a huge impact. Um, not only on the Tennessee program, but on all of the women's basketball programs, all of the men's, you know, basketball programs. Everybody knows who Pat Summit is. And what filtered through my mind was just more of, I, I, um, I'm gonna, even, I mean, even me being, being, you know, however many 15, 20 years out, out of the program, I still love following, uh, Tennessee. And I'm, I, I, you know, obviously I'm, I'm gonna absolutely follow Tennessee, um, just as close. 
um, you know, even after she's gone because it's in my blood. But, you know, Pat created that. You know, she created, um, you know, the aura of Tennessee. And, um, you know, just, just, you know, and I, I think this year she was, um, uh, there, you know, there was a change, uh, and and everyone who who watched, you know, watched that that there was a difference on the sidelines. So I think people are a little more prepared uh, than if she would have just, you know, resigned last year um, or retired last year. And so, uh, you know, it's just it's it's the impact she has for fans. Uh, it's it's just it's sad. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, uh, just her, her, you know, being, you know, wearing, you know, just kind of stomping on the sidelines and and throwing her arms up, and it's like it's like she's she's not gonna she's not gonna be there anymore. Um, and I I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss that when I go back and watch, you know, Tennessee. She is Tennessee basketball. Um, the program has is rooted in excellence. It's gonna be. It, it's it's going to be just as good as it was, but it's just like the you know Pat's Pat's not going to be there, and um, so it it just is a little you know I, I may feel different after a month after thinking about this, but you're getting my my raw reaction right now, and and it's it just is a little sad. Michelle, we've got about two minutes left, but you'll forever be linked to her because you were the one she was recruiting when she was pregnant, and mm-hmm. then if you would just recount that story for for our listeners. Um, Pat was, uh, you know, I was the National High School Player of the Year, and she was going to make a home visit um, to, to, you know, to my house. And she was, you know, one of, I don't know, 15, 20 schools that, that you know, came to my house. And, and um, she, she actually, her water broke getting off the plane uh, to, to make the visit to my house when I was a, you know, a high school junior. And um, instead of turning around, she decided to... to uh, you know, try to find me anyway and kind of fight nature to do that. Um, you know, ended up, she had to fly home, uh, on a quick jet, um, to, you know, land in Knoxville. She wanted, she was, uh, as, as stubborn enough to want to land the plane in Knoxville and have the baby. <laughs> um, and, but that's just her. You know, she's got grit. She's got, she's competitive. She's got fight. She's got fire. Um, and it, it was an amazing story. I'm very close to Pat. Uh, and because you, of that, you, I'm very close to Tyler. I love Pat Summit to death, and um, I'm going to support her. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to help her fight this disease so that she can um, succeed at this just as she succeeded um, throughout her basketball career. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to join us. By the way, you initially told her no, didn't you? I did. I did. I yep. went to Notre Dame yep. um, for a year. <laughs> so and I remember I, that. I realized, and I'm I'm the only transfer she's ever taken, um, <laughs> and and so there, there's a and that's that's very unique too. Because if you tell Pat Summit no, you're, you're not coming back. Um, but uh, it just makes us, you know, our whole our relationship is, um, you know, it, it's it's special, and um, I love her dearly, and I will do anything in the world to help her as as she has given to so many and given so much to me. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for taking the time to call in. We appreciate it, and uh, best of luck to you. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, Michelle. That's Michelle Marciniak, former Lady Vol.